Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be on the Savage Axis trigger. Now, I just released a video not long ago of the Savage Axis versus the Ruger. Uh, and I noticed a really big difference that the Ruger was a lot better on the Accu trigger and the pull. So after releasing the video, I had a couple people recommend this kit. So we're gonna put a spring trigger kit uh, in this Creedmoor. So y'all stay tuned. Studio slash hunting room. Uh, as you can see, this is where I do some of my videos and different stuff and my lighting, but I have my workbench over here with the uh, Savage already set up on it. Some of my tools and stuff are here. So I'm going to turn you around here. This, this video is going to be on the M Carbo spring kit. Now on the video that I had released on the Savage, I told you some people had recommended, here's their names. Uh, and I appreciate y'all putting me on to this, on the M Carbo guys. But uh, basically M Carbo is a, it says, welcome to M Carbo Brotherhood, Veterans, Police Officers, and Second Amendment Patriots. Uh, this is a veteran owned, uh, they support all the troops and, uh, they have very high reviews and, uh, they make some really good quality parts. So I got the kit. Now what came in the kit for the Savage, um, was this right here. Got a really cool sticker there. I'm sure that'll go somewhere, uh, on one of my cabinets or one of my magnets, but this is basically the spring kit. Savage Axis 3.5 trigger return spring. So we're gonna change this whole thing out and get it going. So basically it looks like this kit comes with the two shim wash, the, the washers for the trigger cause the Savages have a sloppy trigger side to side. Thing of super lube, a two and a half pound pull and a three and a half pound pull spring i believe we're gonna go with a two and a half i'd rather it be as light on sarah as possible but that's basically everything that comes in the kit Put everything in position here now what it calls for is this bolt and this bolt to come out which will drop the rifle out of um out of the stock so that we can get the trigger out. We'll take break these loose. That's a 532nd Allen wrench. I'm gonna hold on the scope and all. Take my speed wrench. Short one on that side. That actually might be the long one. Yes. So long bolt on the right, short bolt on the left. Now, let's turn back up here and seat this barrel. There we go. Now, First thing you gotta do now that it's out, bolts out, uh, barrels just laying here. This gun has not been sighted in. I, I haven't pulled, I mean, we've shot it, but it's not accurate. So I'm not too worried about maybe bumping the scope. But uh, first things first, you're gonna wanna remove this clip and try your best not to lose it. All right, we'll try our best not to lose this thing. Take your little E-clip, set it to the side. You're gonna push this pin out. Pull this pin right here out, holding down on your trigger. And take that pin out. Pull the spring assembly off. This is what we're going to be working with. 
Okay, now with everything out, as you can see, this spring just nests in there. That's your factory spring versus your two and a half. I'll open this up. Take this two and a half out. That's unreal, the difference. Now, as you can see, that spring is has a seat to it. It's turned down so that it will set in here without coming out. Well, we're gonna put, it comes with this guide, and that guide just threads right in to here. It has an Allen head on this end. So, we'll want to Take a little blue Loctite. Ooh, that's red. Let's try a little blue here. Yep. Gonna take and put a couple drops of blue. This is just gun, Uncle Mike's gun tight adhesive or blue Loctite, whichever one you want to call it. Set this back out of the way. And then we're going to install this in here. And our spring is going to set just like that. Now, it has its rest, it's pocketed. As you can see right here, it's pocketed for that spring. Now, I'm gonna set the spring off for a second. Now, a lot of these savages, see the play that's in these? Well, this kit comes with these two shims. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the super lube I'm gonna put a little bit on there to where it'll stick. It's gonna go on this side. I'm gonna take the other one and do the same. Coat it real good. Stick it on this side. So those shims are gonna take up some of that back and forth wobble. I'm going to reinstall our um, spring. Get it in his pocket. Now, i got to try to get all this lined up. I can hear like it's supposed to be. So I'm going to take a small Allen wrench, kind of line it all back up. Just like that. Take my pen. Now. Put our clip back on. Now, put our bolt back in. It's kind of hard to hold this to where y'all can see it. Pull the, pull the trigger back. All right. Now, that thing is almost instant. Now, we're going to put it, reassemble it, back together, and we'll set it back in the stock, right in the factory spot. As you can see on the trigger, none of that shows. Put our short screw in. Our long screw goes in the back. Now, 
I'm not Loctite and these, a lot of you will question why at this point, I'm gonna take it to the field and shoot it and make sure I have no more issues uh, and make sure I don't wanna put that three and a half pound trigger in it for Sarah. I believe with everything, I believe the two and a half is gonna be the ticket. And just because it will keep her, once she's steady, she will not have to pull that trigger distance so far. So we're back together. I mean, that trigger is 10 times smoother than it was before. Yes, that's gonna help Miss Sarah out a whole lot. Well, that completes the Savage. I'd like to send a shout out to SoCal Cigars and James Holder for recommending it. Um, SoCal Cigars, they had mentioned it and then James Holder come in behind him and said he had one and he really liked it. So I'm very, very tickled. Uh, that's lighter than my Ruger now. And I think it's gonna help Sarah's accuracy and she ain't got a strain on pulling that trigger so hard. Uh, and also shout out to M Carbo I've read their letter. The guy seemed like just, it seems like a really upstanding company made in the USA, a hundred percent better known. So, uh, y'all check them out and, uh, they've got trigger stuff. I've, I've been playing on their website. They've got stuff for all kinds of guns. So, uh, anyway, y'all check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Season's about six days away. We'll be getting to sighting this thing in for long. And then we're going to be after them with bows this next Saturday. So, Y'all stay tuned for Pine Life Deer Season 2021. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like and hit that bell for more notifications. That way you, you're notified on every video we do. And as always, God bless. And we'll see you on the next video. See ya.